Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. The channel is for education and technology. A few weeks ago, I started to share the Wing Chun version 1850s. And so in the past few weeks, I have many Wing Chun friends chat with me, message me, on different things in Wing Chun. So what I found out is many of our Wing Chun friends do not understand the concept of the dodge and moving which I shared a few days ago. And also in the past few days there are Wing Chun friends who send me different uh, video clip on uh, people is teaching Wing Chun using movie as the model. So today I like to share with you on this uh, Wing Chun version movie and the dodging and the moving because uh, this can uh, put together and to let you see what is going on. So, let's get into this Wing Chun version movie first. So, a few days ago, there are one friend who sent me a video and uh, some snapshot one of it saying, meaning to say, apart from learning as what you've seen in the movie It Man, we actually add it on to make it so simple and easy to learn. This is from somebody's teaching Wing Chun. So that is what I call it Wing Chun version movie. And we know that this type of style where you are in Wing Chun movie, Wing Chun version movie, it is a disaster. As uh, in here it said, when fake replace real, real is fake. So when movie replace real, real is movie. Okay? So I'm going to share with you more. But uh, this Wing Chun version movie is now around the world. We will say that a lot, a lot, a lot of people is thinking Wing Chun as the Wing Chun version movie. Okay? Now, another thing is this uh, Wing Chun version 1850. The other days I share the concept of dodge and move. Well, dodge and move is an impulse momentum. It is an impulse momentum play or handling. It is not techniques or how a posture looks like. Many of our friends who messaged me in past a week or so do not understand this. Even though in the last video I already shared. So today I'm going to share with you more. So, dodging and moving is not just hand techniques and footwork. It's like a racing sport car is not moving wheels. Okay? So, I'm going to elaborate to share with you more on this dodging and move and all this uh, Wing Chun version movie. They are related. And you can see that those who practice Wing Chun version movie have no idea on dodging and moving. And thus, they're living in a fantasy zone, okay? Now, let's look into this. Wing Chun movie version, okay? This is uh, me. I like him, okay? He is a kid, and uh, I like him, okay? So, look at this at uh, me, okay? Wing Chun movie version. Well, you're all familiar with this, right? This type of posture, this type of posture, and then this type of uh, action, you know, looks really good. Okay, so, so those are Wing Chun movie version. 
all these techniques and uh, all these really nice hand techniques and, and so forth. Well, what is reality? Well, real life is impulse momentum play. And within impulse momentum play, that is the move impulse momentum play and dodge impulse momentum play. So let's look into the real life. Well, over here, Zhang Wei Li tried to sweep uh, Joanna with a low kick. Joanna dodge away, throw a round kick also to Zhang Wei Li's face. That is dodging at this long fist distance. Over here, Joanna attack, and Zhang Wei Li move his center line away. Okay, and then throw a punch to Joanna's face. That is dodge and strike. And over here, Joanna shoot up and attack from above down, while Zhang Wei Li is wrapping her in close range. So you can see from their long fist distance, short strike distance, and in this cringe distance, this is the dodge and strike, the dodging game. Okay, this is a momentum play. The entire body go and you you hitting the uh, the the target. Okay, the which is the 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 the, the center. Okay, and over here. You see that the attack of Joanna is so strong that uh, Zhang Wei Li do not hold it and he just move back. So this is move. This is all dodge. This is all momentum play. Okay? Because it's dealing with speed and your your mass. Now Let's look into this. Well, what is that? You're just playing with hands and the guy standing there. Okay? There's no momentum. It's just some kind of hand posture or techniques, whatever. Same thing is here. Where is the target? Where is one dodge away? Nothing. It just go standing there, uh, just just playing their hand, doing whatever help. Okay, looks good for the movie. Here the same is a pose. Look at Mike Tyson here. This punch is going to go penetrate this guy big time, and one shot here to the 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 the, the rib, uh, rib cage here area is called KO. Okay. And then this is idiot enough to put the hand up here like a bong sao, okay? This punch, this strike is going to go right away here, okay? While well, this is the momentum play in the real life, but in the movie, it is just acting. Post out a posture called bong sao, and then, but you have no idea what is Mike Tyson's and how is that is going to go attack in the real life. Well, of course, you, you know, people love to, uh, to post like this, even fighting Xi Xiaodong, you know, like in this kind of movie kinds of uh, deal. The second thing is uh, this type of stuff. So, so, so what's wrong with this kind of thing? Well, look at the chin area here. Okay? Look at the chin area here. If you find any today's martial artists in MMA or Western boxing or Muay Thai, you know they're going to shoot your chin. Okay? Posing more like this is actually really idiotic. Well, but it is not idiotic here because it's called Wing Chun movie version. In the real life, are you serious? How many seconds can you last? You can count on that. Okay? 
So you can see that this is momentum. This is momentum. This is momentum. This is momentum. And this is the moving out of the, the, the range of fighting because uh, the, the opponent is too strong in, in the attack. And over here, you can counter here, and still momentum play. Okay, so that is the concept of move and dodge. It is not thinking of this technique, this technique, this technique, what hand uh, versus what hand. Oh, this is the whatever, the Tan Sao uh, versus this hand. Uh, this one is uh, Bong Sao versus... Forget about it, okay? It is not that at all, okay? And uh, not, 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 not this either. Not this either. Oh, yeah, he punched me. He just bong out and all. It's not that, okay? That never exists in the real life. The real life is like this. This is real life. This impose momentum, move, and dodge. Okay, now. In the game of impose momentum, play, move, and dodge, it is not simple. We know that in science, momentum takes time to build up. Attack without momentum is weak. So, for example, this attack, the body is actually really strongly moved forward. That is really powerful. However, it takes time to develop that type of uh, momentum. Okay? So you want a, a powerful attack, you need to take time to build out the momentum. The same thing, momentum takes time to catch up. <coughs> this different without momentum is weak. Same thing here. Joanna dodge and then using the same turn to build out the momentum for the counter-attack, okay? So, that is the momentum take times to catch up. It has to using the shifting away of the momentum to generate that, that, uh, that, uh, that kick. One cannot just uh, simply say, well, I can move wherever I want, I just uh, throw the kick. Well, if you do not handle your body uh, movement and the body speed, then there's no way you can generate that, uh, that kick. Okay? So even at dodging, one has to obey this law. Now, momentum game is based on space and time. Well, Every one of this, every one of this is based on space and time. You see, as this in moving, Zhang Weili cannot take it. He move out. He move away. That is using of space. And of course, you gain time there. You, you, you gain time there, which is you need. Now, and also, of course, you actually uh, attenuate down the momentum, okay? Like, for example, if this is a, a, a chain punch or anything, you, you better move away, okay, to, to uh, dissipate or attenuate down the, uh, the, the, the incoming momentum. Now, you look at this, the same thing, Joanna cannot take it up front straight this way. It has to move away. That is playing the game of the space. And then, as uh, Zhang Weili, once the Joanna is no longer here, is no longer here, Zhang Weili, due to the momentum, the inertia of the momentum, he cannot switch right away. So now he's open for Joanna's attack because he cannot change momentum right away. Okay? Same here. This is a center line. 
Zhang moved away so that even if this Joanna is attacking Zhang, he's no longer there. Okay? So it's playing with moment, uh, uh, space and time. The same thing, it just go into a different angle, up, down, for this play. The same. So all of this is a impulse momentum play. And we know that impulse momentum is like a car. Okay? Like a car. You want to accelerate, it takes time to get there. You want to decelerate, it takes time to get there. And this is actually have its inertia. You cannot stop right away like this. Okay? So, so that is the reality. You want just simply cannot say that from here, stop down right there. No, you have to go to decrease the, 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 the speed and so forth. Okay? The, the, the MV, the momentum. So P equal to MV. This is velocity multiplied by the mass. So you have to decrease this, the, uh, the, the uh, velocity here. Cannot just drop that like that. Okay? That will require a lot of energy to break it. Okay? Like the car, you cannot stop it right away. So due to you cannot stop it right away, like uh, for example like this, even though uh, Joanna, he know, she know, she, she know, but she's too late, she cannot change. The same thing is, she knows it's coming, but uh, she's too late, she cannot change. Okay? So there's the play. Now, so one need to know this. Okay? And also, there are many different momentum exist in the same time. So what do I mean? Well, for example, in this case, in this case, the body is going one direction. Joanna's attack is going one direction, and his core is one direction, and Zhang Weili has to be able to handle that that that. Uh, that uh, 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 combinations of, uh, of of momentum or the resultant momentum, okay? So that's why you need to be able to see it, to know what is the bottom line of the play instead of you just go doing this, okay? One can practice this for one, one billion year, but it will last only a few seconds in the real life, okay? So this is reality. So Wing Chun reality is this. Not this idiotic movie version. Okay? Now, mobility handling is managing the impulse momentum. So this is a mobility handling in the real life. This is a mobility handling. Okay? So mobility handling, you have the move and you have the dodge. Okay? Dodge means dodge a body away from an attack momentum and counter with another momentum. That's what exactly it is here. Move away and counter with another momentum. Move away and counter. Move away and counter. Here, you... This is the move, you just, you just completely moving away, okay? So, so it, will, it will be better to say that this is dodge away and counter with the momentum. Uh, dodge away and counter, dodge away and counter, this is move, okay? So that will be more clear for you. So this is dodge, this is move. If one not trained in this and get into sparring, one is looking for trouble. One is looking for disaster. Okay? Now, move means move the body out of range from a chain attack move, uh, momentum or move the body into range to play momentum. Well, like for example over here. 
at over here. Zhang Weili is moving out. Oh, sorry, this uh, Zhang Weili is moving out when uh, Joanna is uh, is attacking him. Okay, so Zhang is moving out. So Joanna is attacking Zhang, and Zhang Weili is moving out. Okay, so that is how it is. Move the move means move the body out of range from a chain attack momentum. That thing is too strong, too too powerful. You just cannot deal with it. Okay. And uh, this two thing is a must because this is when the opponent is too strong. This is when one can deal with it. So one can use dodge. And here you cannot deal with it. You have to move away. Okay. So there's the concept. And when one study Wing Chun, disregard of his 1850 or 1960, asks what is the Wing Chun impulse momentum one is studying, learning, training for, using. Okay, instead of just uh, this, just what you call it, the, the, the techniques. Okay, it was just, those are movie. Okay. So, to be even more clear, in order to play this game, okay, to be to 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 be more even more details to on playing these games. If you based on eighteen fifties, move and dodge play, dynamic momentum play, not move, uh, mimic techniques of posture, reality. Based on this reality, based on dynamic momentum play, not mimic technique or posture reality. Guess what you should do? Okay, so this is from a Wing Chun Matrix book. You see, one need to, you can read here, the consequence of not taking background momentum into considerations. Okay. So over here, the consequence of not making background momentum into consideration in daily training will result in the following two typical problems. The upper part of the body and the lower part of the body breaks apart when one part of the body accelerates with high speed. This means one simply cannot function properly. Another is one's own inertial momentum is against one's techniques instead of support by one's own inertia momentum. This one has a low efficient techniques. Okay, so there's about background momentum. Okay, a real life example of background momentum handling. So one need to know that background momentum. So over here, one, the body is conditioned to be able to handle the background momentum. That's why they can retaliate very fast. And they can actually uh, charge in really fast. Otherwise, it really cannot play. Okay, so that is the background momentum. This, this is need to be known. It is never as like this. There is no momentum there. It's just a posture. It just it just it just posting like that. Okay, there's no background momentum. And that's why anybody learn this kind of stuff and will have no idea what is a background momentum. But in the real life, they cannot handle it. Okay, there's the reality. Now, there's the background momentum. Also, you want to play the, uh, the uh, uh, impulse momentum game, like the dodging. The Chinese have uh, five ways of handling momentum. The first is give birth. Okay, to make use of incoming momentum. The thing second is subdue, counter against, control, control the in, uh, incoming momentum, and so forth. Okay, there are five ways of handling the momentum. So in terms of dodging and uh, dodging and uh, moving, one need to use it. Okay, so for example, one can use the give birth momentum. To push oneself out when one want to move away, okay. So you make use of the opponent's very strong uh, incoming momentum to push you away. 
okay because you want to move away now so that is momentum so there's five type of momentum play here and then this is the background momentum one need to know that the conditions one's body otherwise you know what can one do what one, one have no idea what is the the, the, the the play is about and also over here as, as you can see that this is the move play you see the distance this is how to move in and over here when you get to here this is the dodge play okay how one side dodging the other side to play like so that explain this thing this uh, moving and this this dodging play there is here there's here okay so so that is what it is one need to know what's going on and uh, as in the beginning Wing Chun book it said that even when play with a wooden dummy make use of momentum and tendency okay the key is make use of momentum and tendency avoid senseless senseless brute force and overpowering you don't bang the wooden dummy as you like you need to know the momentum and tendency okay so unless one know this basic and have trained in this basic there's no way one can play in the dynamic momentum play unless one know the move and dodge there's no way one play in the real life like this well, so you look into the movie version of Wing Chun, it's like that. What the heck is that? There's no momentum. There's no impulse. There's no dodging. There's no moving. What is one doing? So when one doing this, meaning to say apart from learning as what you've seen in movie, Yip Man, we actually add it on to make it so simple and easy to learn. Well, what the heck you see in the movie? The movie is nonsense. Okay, you want to learn from that? Okay, so the finally, you know, one need to ask what, what type of, what do this type of training contribute? What is this? What is this for? You, we can train all this kind of stuff. Do you think they care? Do you think Zhang Weili and Joanna care? on what you train or the bottom line is simply this play can you play can you play in different distance and under different type of power attack so that is the bottom line so now hopefully you see now okay you can differentiate between what is real and what is movie. What is the Wing Chun version 1850 and Wing Chun version movie? Forget about this Wing Chun version movie. As it said here, when fake replaces real, real is fake. When movie replaces reality, reality is just movie. So this is to share with you today. This is the serious stuff. I have... Uh, speak with uh, many Wing Chuner friends around the world in past one week who uh, messaged me, asked me questions on the Wing Chun 1850 and so forth. This video, please really, really know what is going on, what I'm explaining here. Without knowing this, one is looking into, walking into a disaster. And for sure, it is the time for us to drop the Wing Chun version movie. So this is for you today.